Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about bristling sardines and we're going to be comparing three different brands of bristling sardines and we're going to tell you how they're different from regular sardines. So today we're going to be comparing um, Crown Prince with King Oscar and with Wild Petite sardines from Bar Harbor. So three different types of sardines or bristling sardines. Now, these are going to be different from regular sardines, um, like these from Wild Planet, and uh, these from Henry and Lisa's. So, I'm going to open up, in this video, I'm going to open up the regular sardines and just show you the difference. But basically, bristling sardines are much smaller. Um, they're considered to be tastier and just way higher quality. And generally, they come from places like, like the Fords and... Um, Northern Europe, and they're going to be, um, they're going to be like the fishing industry is well regulated there. And apparently, um, you know, they're, they're going to be way lower in uh, mercury and, and stuff like that. So they're, they're going to be healthier for you. In general, sardines are really healthy. They have healthy fats, um, a lot of protein, generally low calories. And they're, they're generally a really great food if you're, you're health conscious. So <clears throat> in any case, I'm going to open up each of these and try them out and tell you what I think of them. They should be very similar, but um, I'm gonna basically each of these is uh, the, the each of these is bristling, and um, they're each wild caught. So we we have and in each of these is in extra virgin olive oil. So they should be fairly similar, but I'm I'm gonna try them out and show you what they look like inside. Just just in this one, you can you can actually see through the case, but I'm gonna be opening each of these up. And I'm also going to open up this for the video just so you can see the difference. So you, you, you'll see these are much larger than the bristling. So each of these should be as small or smaller than these. And um, you'll, you'll see, I'm going to open these up in just a sec. And there we go, there's all three of them. So we have our Bar Harbor, Crown Prince, and King Oscar. Now let's open up these regular Wild Planet sardines. Now these are kind of like my go-to sardines when I, like I, I know these are gonna be available in the store all the time. Um, the rest of these are not always in stock all the time or I'm not always going somewhere where I can pick them up. These are easier to find. Um, they're gonna be cheaper and they, these are generally like <clears throat> my go-to sardines. Um, they're definitely not as delicious as these. But they're they're pretty good and they're what I they're they're not bad at all. They're just not the same quality just because they're not bristling. Now sardines in general are going to be, you know, one of many different um, one of any uh, different fish in the the herring family. But they're they're generally going to be small. So what makes a sardine a sardine is its size. And there we go. Now you'll you'll notice how these are basically, oops, the length of the entire can, whereas these you're gonna have two, so they go like half the length of the can. And this is getting really messy really fast. <laughs> and the oil from these just sticks to everything and smells. So one one thing about sardines is that they are incredibly messy. 
Now, I'm going to I'm basically comparing these three. I'm really only showing you these just so you can kind of compare it. Um, th these just don't have as much flavor and I, I find I just get tired of them a whole lot faster. These are just more, um, I, I don't know how best to describe it, but in any case, let's try these out. So it's like a finer taste, finer texture. Um, one thing about about bristling sardines is they're not going to have any notice, noticeable uh, scales on them, whereas regular sardines may. Now th this is pretty good, right, right off the you know right from the start. Let's try these. Slightly, slightly drier. Maybe it's my imagination. Um, slightly stronger flavor. Let's take one of these out to uh, let's see. Can we take these out whole? Yeah. Just to compare them. So looks like these are overall probably smaller, right? But they're they're not not too different. And every one of these is going to be small compared to these. These guys are gigantic, and the, the flavor just isn't the same. But let's see here. Yeah, I think th these may be the smallest. I mean, they have a slightly different flavor, maybe my imagination. Um, not sure, actually. These, these almost seem more fresh, if that's possible. Maybe it's my imagination. It's, it's probably my imagination. Yeah, these are all pretty good. Um, you could put sauce on these. Now, <clears throat> in general, all right, so I would, if I had to pick one, I mean, these are all vaguely equivalent. They're not that different. They're all pretty close. But if I had to pick one, I'd, I would say this is probably the best, but it might just be my imagination. So <clears throat> in general, with sardines, bristling sardines, I would probably... I mean, with, with with larger sardines like these, I tend to put hot sauce on them, or I put you know any one of you know a number of different sauces on them. A lot of times, I find myself using really spicy hot sauce, and um, oftentimes uh, with, with bristling sardines, I generally um, you know I appreciate like like with these, I get tired of the flavor pretty quick. They were delicious at the beginning. I've gotten tired tired of it really quick. You'll get tired of them all if you eat them on a daily basis for sure, but. Um, <clears throat> These, I find I, I enjoy the flavor a lot more, and I kind of don't want to drown it out with something spicy. So I'll, I'll usually find myself putting more of like a, a sweet, tangy sauce, maybe something tomato-based or something on them. Um, I'm rarely eating them plain like this, although with the bristling sardines, I don't mind eating them plain. With these, I've gotten really tired of eating them plain. They're fine. I'll eat them because, you know, because they're good for me and it makes a good meal and everything. Like they're healthy, but I've gotten really tired of eating these plain. They're great with sauce though. Add hot sauce and they're amazing. 
but with between each of between the bristling i can eat them plain and, and kind of still enjoy them quite a bit but um you know there are all sorts of different options for sauce that you could use so i'm going to be covering sauces in another video not necessarily together with sardines but um that's something else coming up but there are all sorts of excellent sauces you can add um sriracha coconut sriracha Frank's Red Hot Sauce, regular sriracha, white sauce, habanero ranch. <clears throat> um, what else do we have? Pineapple habanero. A um, lot, lot of excellent sauce options that can make eating sardines really, um, you know, just really improves the, the experience, especially with, uh, with regular sardines. Um, bristling sardines, the flavor is just pretty much, uh, you know, it's a, it's a few notches up from regular sardines. See, this is more, this is a whole lot more, um, it, it's drier. Definitely the meat is drier and it has more of like a, like it's, it's, it's almost closer to like canned tuna fish. I know this is very different from canned tuna fish, but if you were to like create a spectrum where canned tuna fish is on one end and bristling sardines are on the other, I would place this somewhere in between, I mean, closer to the bristling sardines, but it's it's almost like that, that sort of dry, less flavor-filled, um, you know, it's dry and less flavor-filled is, is how I would describe it. Um, they're still good. They still, still have a strong flavor, but definitely not as good as bristling sardines. So <clears throat> that that's my take on it anyways. So hopefully you found this interesting, maybe informative, um, definitely leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or you can contribute anything, not just for me, but for the next person who watches the video. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this was useful content for you. If you want to see a more food related content, we, we cover like a huge variety of things. You might want to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon too, and um, you might want to give us a thumbs up for this video or, or not, totally up to you. Um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.